Career high 23 points for Jason Wade as Old Dominion finally snaps that frustrating three game losing skid. A stretch in which the Monarchs just could not finish games. But just like those last three, this afternoon's game against Charlotte came all the way down to the final seconds. First half, Old Dominion leading by three. This guy had the hot hand. A.J. Oliver, his third made three, finished the game with 12 points. Monarchs up six, 32 26 at the half. Second half, they start to stretch that lead out. Nice pass from Xavier Green to Joe Reese. Throws down the slam. Only four points for Reese, but both were dunks. Next possession, ODU with the steal. Green to Jason Wade. He's only six foot four, but he can dunk it too. Old Dominion led by as many as 13 in the second half. Then the three started falling for Charlotte. Number 25, Drew Edwards with a team high 18 points. Charlotte hit 11 three pointers, and all of a sudden, a shrug from Coach Jeff Jones. His team's lead down to two with 13 seconds left to play. Everybody at the Ted holding their breath. They almost lost it after this. ODU inbounds, almost stolen away, but Malik Curry stays with it, finds Kalu Azipke, and the one-handed stuff seals it. Old Dominion holds on for a 66-62 win, their third game in five days and their first win in four. It was like a big relief. You know, the last three games, like you said, we've had a hard time just finishing. We would compete, but just in the last stretch, we couldn't finish, so it feels nice to be able to finish and pull it out tonight. They're tired. I mean, you know, what, what's happened in the last, what, three or four days, whatever it's been, last 72 hours is, is uh, you know, it's more than NBA players play and, and we got two more coming up this weekend so uh, but but our guys you know it, it was time for something positive to happen and they can hopefully get to bed early tonight and sleep really really well knowing that they've get, given it everything that they've had. Old Dominion now four and three in Conference USA and up next a test against high octane Florida International right here inside Chartway Arena on Thursday night in Norfolk Nathan Epstein for the Sports Wrap.